Hi everyone, my name is Mike and welcome to the Luxury Home Channel here on YouTube. Today we're in Sarasota, Florida and we've been in Sarasota quite a bit lately um, just because they have lots of luxury homes here in this area. It's a pl great place to move to. And we are going to show you this community. It's an artistry, it's a uh, culture homes and the home behind me is called The Palmer. The Palmer starts out as a three bedroom, three full bath, two half bath home with a two car garage. As we see it today, it's actually going to have an extra full bathroom and also the third bay on the garage. The bay Base price is $799,990. That's that time of shooting, which is June 2nd, 2022. Now that price will change. So if you want the most up-to-date prices, make sure you give us a call at 407-487-3030. And remember, that is the base price. Does not include the lot premium or upgrades. And this home has a lot of upgrades, including a nice pool and outdoor living area. So this home will be well over a million dollars. And again, if you do want the accurate pricing for today, make sure you give us a call and we will let you know. So let's go ahead and turn around and take a look at this home. Of course, we have the pavers coming up to, to, the, to the driveway and the garage. On this side, you do get that three car garage. Typically, you'd only have a two car garage. They did do the extra bay here. We do have a nice uh, Spanish tile roof. Um, and of course, really good uh, landscaping on either side as we come up to this Palmer model by Coulter Homes. So we do get to come up and take one step up to the entryway, really grand entryway with really cool shutters above us. And of course, these double French doors with this really beautiful design on the glass in front. So let's go ahead and go inside and check out this home. All right, so welcome into this beautiful home. And the first thing I notice here are the porcelain tiles that go throughout the first floor of this home. Uh, and of course, as I look up, we see this entryway. And what they've done, which uh, a lot of people can do in their own homes, is they've done some little simple design with woodworking and paint that really makes it pop. And of course, this light fixture that comes down. So we have a little entryway here, but as we continue to go through, we have a little bit of a larger entryway. So this area here actually connects multiple different rooms. Also looking above us, we still see that same sort of woodworking design with the black paint and the white which really pops. Um, but here you have like a living room office, you have the dining room hallway, and then of course behind the camera, we do have the family room. So let's go ahead and start over to the left, uh, which is the um, living room. Um, this is the living room or office combo. Um, as you can see, it's currently set up as like a little formal living room area right off the front of the home. Uh, it's really nice. We do have engineered hardwood floors here and this really cool light fixture. And we also do have molding around the ceiling. They also have the surround sound throughout the home. So that is all sort of additional features that will increase that price. So please do keep that in mind. So let's go ahead and go over to the other side, which is the dining room. And this is a pretty cool dining room. It's got some pretty neat features here. So as we walk in here, you can see we came through a couple columns, but we do have this really large dining room sets currently set up for eight people. A very sort of modern looking design here with these chairs. And then of course we have this little inlay here, which has some wallpaper behind it. And then that wallpaper sort of matches also the wallpaper that we see in a ceiling, has some recessed lights, also the uh, speakers, and this really cool light fixture uh, hanging from the center that's really artistic, I think, and does a really good job. Now, if you're sitting here and you think that you want some wine or champagne, no problems, we've got you covered. All you have to do is come right across and here we have our little wine station where you can have your chilled wines here or you can store your other wines for room temperature up here on this mirror back uh, with some nice LED lights up to shine and give a really good look at the wine collection that you have. Of course, really beautiful uh, countertops and we even have a sink, so pretty neat. Now, as Haley, who's working the camera today, uh, backs up, you'll be able to see what people would see when they come into the front door. So Haley's now standing by the front door. This would be the entryway. It's pretty darn grand entryway, really cool. As we look back here, nice, nice, big, great room. So as you come here, you can sit and enjoy you know, this specific area. They have the TV set up, really like modern silver uh, wall design behind the TV. And then if I look up to the ceiling, uh, we have like a double tray ceiling, but all these really cool woodwork, it sort of so looks like uh, flowers of petals off a square, I guess would be the best description that I have for that. And of course this light fixture that comes right into the center, just really makes the room pop. Now, if I continue to go, um, this is all connected right to the kitchen. So let's talk about the kitchen. So as we come into the kitchen, this has got like some sort of interesting design because it has this really nice modern white shiny design here with of course the um, 
the handles, the silver handles, and of course we have the fridge. But then some of the rest of the kitchen, you'll see we have more of a traditional uh, wood cabinet as well. So behind me is gonna be the oven. It also has that white cabinets and all the cabinets on the top are gonna to be white as well. And then when we look down, we have the uh, more dark color wood ones with the soft clothes, so pretty neat. Uh, we do have a pantry, so if you want to store your dry goods, they have some Jersey Italian gravy in there for you, lots of it, and cranberries it look like as well. Um, so as we go back this way past the oven, uh, we'll come over here and show you here. So we, we do have this really beautiful countertop and of course the backsplash that's sort of got whites and blacks and grays. On this side, we have a really large center island kitchen, uh, center island. Um, and of course we have the sink and then we have the three pendant lights that pop down from the ceiling. We have the dishwasher. And of course we have the brown cabinets on this side that match the brown cabinets on this side. We do have a four burner gas stove top microwave and of course the white cabinets above us. So as we continue to go, we go into the breakfast nook. So they have this set up really neat. They have sort of four chairs here so you can actually sit out and enjoy the beautiful, um, you know, the beautiful view that you have here, which is of the pool and also the pond behind us. Um, and of course, these beautiful windows that allow you to get that view. And of course, we have this really cool looking light fixture coming down above the actual um, dining room too, or the breakfast nook. So as we come this direction, one of my favorite areas is gonna be down here. So we go back into that engineered hardwood to our media center. This is a cool room, nice size. Again, 3,208 square feet, so you do get a lot of space here. Really, really nice tall windows, so you get plenty of natural light. And you can just imagine sitting here and enjoying watching the game or watching a movie or playing a game. Uh, they do have, this is actually wallpaper behind us. It's pretty cool. It looks like stone, but if you touch it, it's definitely wallpaper. Uh, and then we come here to this really cool uh, little um, bar area so you have a refrigerator here too so you can keep some drinks cold and of course cabinets nice countertop and we have a sink um, and everything else so you can ha hang out here if you're popcorn or chips you know, beer or root beer whatever you might want and you have everything right here so you can be watching everything you want and have all your beverages and sort of uh, snacks here as well so that's neat and then of course on this side we do have a door going out to the patio area and of course the pool area. So that's really convenient. You can come through here and then if you needed to use the uh, restroom guest shower, you come right here to the right and this would be a full um, bathroom. So we do have the sink, cabinet sink, mirror, really cool wallpaper. I love this wallpaper. Um, and then of course we do have the frameless shower with the tile work and it has this very nice decorative tile right off the center all the way up to the top and of course the window there in the middle. So pretty, pretty nice uh, full bath. So as I go down this direction, um, what we'll see is bedroom number two. So this is all about, I guess, lacrosse, um, all set up. Even the bedspreads sort of got like a, a sporty feel to it. Uh, we do have a closet behind me. It is a walk-in closet and it does go back quite enough, kind of far. Uh, so you have plenty of space here, as you can see for closet, especially for a spare room. And then on the other side of this, we do have, its, it has its own bathroom. So you have your own bathroom in this. So we do have, of course, tile floor cabinets, which is a white cabinet, of course, black countertop, mirror lights. And then on the other side, we do have the frameless shower with that beautiful tile, decorative tile going all the way up to the ceiling. Um, so absolutely well done as far as the interior designer goes on that bathroom. I sort of like that. So let's go ahead and go back. And Haley's laughing because she didn't want to get on the mirror. If you watch this channel, you'll know that my, my uh, camera person is my daughter and she really doesn't like being on mirrors too much. But also, if you haven't done so far, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. We definitely would appreciate it. So as we come here, here is the half bath. So we do see we have this really nice cabinet. It's like really shiny and smooth, modern looking. And then, oh, the toilet just opened up for me. So it has a high tech toilet as well. But we do have the countertop and of course the mirror with this really cool um, tile work behind it. That's actually tile, not wallpaper. And of course we have this modern uh, toilet here that just pops open as soon as you come into the restroom. We see that kind of often on these homes. So next stop would be bedroom number three. So this is uh, like a kind of like paris -y feel, uh, design, decorative, like clothing stuff. Looks like clothing designs there. And then of course behind me, it looks like it's a cityscape of Paris with the Eiffel Tower. So really nice. We do also have a walk-in closet here, which is about the same size as the other ones. This one's got, I've never seen that before. Pearl hangers. Have you seen that before, Haley? 
no, I haven't either. So they even have pearl hangers here. So definitely a fancy, fancy um, a clothing person here. It's really into clothes. But anyway, let's go back and talk about the home. Uh, okay, we have the tile, and of course, we do have the nice counters, countertops, cabinets, and then mirror, couple light fixtures there. And then we have a tub here, shower, with also that beautiful accent tile that we've seen in the other two bathrooms as well. So pretty cool. So let's go ahead and go back, and then go and we'll go to the right and show you the laundry room, which is right through here. Through this door is the garage. We can't go in there. As you can see, there is a meeting in process, a process so we can't progress, so we can't actually go in. But this is the laundry room, and I think they've done a good job. This is a pretty cool laundry room. Not only is laundry rooms, you have a drop zone. Really cool drop zone set center. So as soon as you come into the garage, you can put your shoes down here. I like one of these in my house, yeah. And then of course you have little you know, things to hang, backpacks or coats, and of course more shelves up here. And then on the other side, we have our washer dryer, more cabinets for all your laundry detergent. And then there's a really cool sink. That's a really high tech stainless steel sink. Um, you could get a lot done. And of course, this beautiful backsplash tile behind us. So let's go ahead and go onto the other side as Haley has to back up and not trip. So there we go. Uh, let's go ahead and go across. And if you are interested in uh, buying or selling anywhere in the state of Florida, make sure you give me a call. Again, my name is Mike. My phone number is 407-487-3030. Definitely appreciate it if you give it a call and we'll work with our partners throughout the state of Florida. Make sure you're well taken care of as we go into the primary bedroom suite. So check this out. Large, large room, king size bed, plenty of space on either side and look at how they've designed this. Again, if you're just watching these videos to get ideas for your home, this may be a good thing here where they've just done some paint, a little cheer rail around and some wallpaper and it's really made this actually pop instead of the typical just boring white walls. They've made this into their own room. Huge picture window on the other side looking out to the spa and of course the pond. And then we do have the tray ceiling above us with like a very shiny gold color paint. So um, definitely makes this room pop definitely individualize this, this room uh, and different than your typical thing. Of course, we have the nice light fixture coming down as well in the center of the room. So let's go ahead and check out the primary bathroom with a closet that's a pretty big closet. Not the biggest we've ever seen, but one of the biggest. So as we come through here, on this side, we do have our tub, nice size tub, pretty big. Um, and then of course, all the tile work all around it. We have the frameless shower, and again, we have that really nice decorative tile going all the way up to the ceiling like we've seen in the other ones. Um, and then we also have a uh, actual window up there for some natural light and then the closet. So we have two closets, but check out this closet. So this is huge, it's a big room. Now, of course, in a luxury home, I would definitely upgrade this with like a California closet or something. But if you can imagine the actual California closet, especially how high the ceilings are here, what you can do in this space Wow, you could do a lot here. It's already got tons of space, but you know, if you upgrade it to one of those California closets or custom closets, you definitely would do even better. And then if that's not enough for closet space, then we have another closet right here um, that's about your average size closet for a primary bedroom suite. Uh, usually you have two of them this size. This one's got this one, and then the other one that's the size of a, a movie theater. So anyway, we come out here, we can see that we do have the nice cabinets. And then of course we have dual sinks and of course the beautiful, beautiful countertop, full length mirror, a couple LED lights on the other side. And as we continue to go down here, we do have a linen closet and then the water closet as we go out. So let's go ahead and follow me and let's check out the outdoor living. And again, remember this home has a ton of upgrades. I don't have the exact price on what it would be to actually build it like this, but it'd be significantly higher than that base price we talked about. So make sure if you are interested, you let us know and we'll get you a quote on what the current price is when you call us. We sometimes have people calling us like three years after we post a video. So the prices do change after time. So here is the outside area, um, nice tile work throughout. And we have this huge area that's under, um, under the roof. Um, we do have the uh, summer kitchen with a refrigerator, some storage, a sink, nice granite countertops, all built in. Of course, your barbecue, it has some space here to actually hang a TV. So if you want to hang a TV here, hang out here in the nice Florida weather, or if you wanted to eat outside, you have a nice little six person uh, dining room set uh, out there too. And then this is open, they don't have it screened in. Um, so it's nice and opened up to the natural weather and a very, very beautiful pool. 
I love the dark um, material they have as far as in the, uh, the, 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 I think they call it pebble tech on the actual floor of the pool. And then of course we have the spa. The spa has a little waterfall coming out and these little two little steps going out to like a little tanning shelf. And then we have even more water fountains here. And then if you really want to check things out and check out Florida and the nature of Florida, if I can come before this bird takes off, but there's a couple little birds hanging out here. So you can sit out here and enjoy the Florida weather and also the two little birds hanging out there too to enjoy the, the natural uh, wildlife here in Florida. So I wanna thank everyone for watching the video and until next week, talk to you then. Thank you.